pay is problems. And our problems are many as politicians. I was telling that the machine the other day. I was I think Thursday or Wednesday, I was traveling from Cape Town. And I jumped in the plane. And a lot of people asked me for pictures. And I took the pictures. And this is and this white white lady, she's 75 or so. She looks at me the whole time. And I was seated next to her. And she looks at me, she's like, who are you? <laughs> so <laughs> I said, what do you mean, ma'am? She's like, no, I want to know. Who are you? Because everybody seems to be taking pictures with you. I said, no, I play in Muvango. <laughs> I play in Muvango. She said, thanks God. I said, why, you like Muvango? She says, no, I thought you a damn politician. <laughs> they lie, they steal, they just haunt us. And for two hours, <laughs> but the parents for two hours, I had to listen to how bad we are as politicians. Just as I thought, I'm free. The air hostess keep on coming. Mr. Minister, <laughs> chicken or beef? I think when she came back with the coffee, this woman looked at me and she's like, why is she calling you minister? I said, because she's part of my church. I'm a church minister. I mean, that I pray now. <laughs> so, our problems are many, you know? <laughs> you know <the laughs> The deputy minister will tell you, sometimes people think it's just easy. You know, I want to start with NetBank. You are a very lucky bank. A very lucky business. I tell you why I'm saying that. Because you get different kinds of people. You get people that don't need to be pushed. Even here at school with our students. There's some of them very smart here. But their marks are not good because they need first to be pushed. And there are some that don't need to be pushed. They automatically do well. So NetBank, you are those that don't need to be pushed. We always read about the good that you do. And that's why I want to start with NetBank, Mr. Mutsepe and them, to say thank you. Thank you so much for what you guys have done here today. Because it's a new day. It's a new time in South Africa. The time where we only get exposed, when we only expose uncaring politicians, it's over. We are going to expose all of us, uncaring politicians, uncaring businesses, uncaring health practitioners, because you can't build a greater South Africa if you don't expose the wrongdoing. Companies are making billions in profit. They post the result, but we have black schools they don't have even a hockey stick. That time is over. We are entering a new time where businesses will be pushed if they don't behave like NetBank. We will push you and push you and push you. Only thing that can help you is if we get the result. Then the pushing might stop. But for as long as we are here, we are going to push you. So NetBank, I want to say thank you. I must be grudging me. Big grudging you, what's about? Yeah. How is that something that grudge? How about you hear man? Man, why you hear that grudge? It's really English this year, my current boss here. Pirates. Hey. <laughs> it's really an institution. You know, and I say it very big, big grudgingly. And I saw here, yeah, sundowns this year. There's, I mean, the deputy minister, you can hear with the clothing, she's a sundowns. You had the, you had the, 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 Mr. Machini, you can see he's uh, undeniable Nacharena boy. You, 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 there's a mix of people here. But I, <laughs> I come from the home of the best supporters in South Africa. I'm a member of, I'm a lifelong supporter of Blue Hood Celtic. And, you know, Marcelo said, you mustn't look at Celtic. The other day I had a delegation from, uh, Bloemfontein to come and see me. I was very tired. So I said, come to my house, meet me halfway. So they came. So I was the only one awake in the, in the house. And they were sitting down. They came with an urgent matter. I said, Bonda, then Gali to Sajwang, how can I help you? They said, no, man, we are coming here, minister. You have to buy Celtics. <laughs> hey, I can make it down, I have you. <laughs> But these people drove all the way from Bloemfontein, yeah. all the way. 
I said, no, man. As I'm a minister, I'm not allowed to buy anything for now. But you have my word. After my term, I was strongly considered. Then I realized I've not offered them a drink. I said, can I offer you something to drink? They give me the order there. As I go to the kitchen, I forgot the one's order. So I'm coming back. But this was about to come back. And he say, hi, I wish. He must be. <laughs> so, I give it a of a road. So, if you see me tomorrow, don't be here. I will give it a of a road to go free. I want to thank Orlando Pilots. Indeed, uh, Chairman Kozal is a wise man. He's a fair man. He's a man that last week, two weeks ago, I went to visit him. Not for anything, but to learn. And indeed, when I left his office, I learned a lot. I learned so much about the history of the club. I even learned how he got involved in the club. What got him involved in Pilots was, amongst all of them, he, could only, he was the one that would speak English the best. <laughs> so when they needed somebody to represent them on the English language, they chose him on the basis, they chose the chairperson on the basis of him speaking English very well. And if you have a dream, young people, you must always follow your dream. Teachers like to tell you those things, and I know you hear it every day and you get tired. It's true. What was said here by Houghton government, sport is not only the players. We can't all be Tico Modices. Some of you and uh, home. Some of you are also equally home. So I know why you're laughing. But remember, I'm the home. We are many. <laughs> I remember when the game in jail. <laughs> when, the, when the soccer game in jail, <laughs> we're playing against you, co prison. <laughs> and the Tate the Kelly was the goalkeeper. <laughs> There was a guy from Newco prison. <laughs> that guy kicked the ball against the pole. The pole was nearly falling over. We played, we played, it was 0-0. Zero, zero. So there was penalties. <laughs> so this guy had to take the penalty. <laughs> and that they could hear, Kenny could hear, walked over to him. So they are talking there. But his actions like... <sighs> <laughs> so I said, Kenny, don't argue, just stop the ball. <laughs> so the guy scored the goal. <laughs> After six years, Kenny was confessing to me. <laughs> I asked him, well, why did you fight that guy? He says, I wasn't fighting. I was acting like I'm fighting. I went to him, I said, what am I? Oh, to a free start, it's a free start. Scatum pula mula, it's a free start, you don't die for a free start. So, sport, not all of us, you don't need to be, you, you don't need to be a, a top sport star to make money out of the sport. And don't listen when you don't think we're just talking, I'm going to make you three quick, four quick examples, real life examples of the power of sport in transforming lives. Number one example, there was a young boy who was part of the gang that I belong to. That boy was so good in sport, but he wanted to be a gangster. And one day at the school, a rugby player named Brayton Paulser came to deliver a motivational talk at the school. That boy listened to Brayton Paulser. At that moment, he took a decision. He said, I am going to be the next Brayton Paulser. That boy left gangsterism behind and he went into rugby and he became the top rugby player in the world. And his name is Eshwin Valimsa. <laughs> Second, guy, I want to give you four real life examples. When we grew up, there was this young boy, four houses from our house. You will always find him with a ball. Always. We were poor, they were poor. He would be playing soccer 
every day. We were telling him, hey, let's go steal. No, let's go do this. No, let's go steal cars. No. There was a time we wanted cars. Although it was stolen, but it was still a car those years. Uh, not talking about that. But those cars, he was the only one that never car. He believed in his dream. When we went to jail, because crime doesn't pay. In jail, I switched on the TV. I nearly got a heart attack. Then Bafana Bafana is that same boy. His name was Willem Jackson. And he played for pirates. <laughs> Yesterday, there's a place in Cape Town called Cryfontaine. Cryfontaine is one of the most dangerous areas in the world. There's bullets flying every day. People die every single day in Cryfontaine. Let nobody tell you otherwise. Every day there's people dying. For the past 40 years, every single day somebody died in Cryfontaine. Last night, I was at an auction. At the auction, we were launching the Cheslin Kobe Foundation. Cheslin Kobe is one of the best rugby players in the world. Cheslin plays for the Springboks. Cheslin played in Japan. Cheslin played in France. Cheslin launched his foundation last night to give back to his community of Cryfontaine. We were there. There was an auction. But Chancellor is not the only one from Cryfontaine. Wait for Nickel is also from Cryfontaine. Both of them grew up dodging bullets. These boys grew up dodging bullets. There was an auction. We all bought stuff there to help the foundation. I remember my family bought an Arsenal t-shirt, paid 60,000 for it, we just to support. There was a portrait, a portrait. They started the bid on 10,000. The bid went up until 600,000. It was a fight with weight from Cryfontaine, Jetland from Cryfontaine, another guy from Mitchell's Plain, I'm coming from Hedendal. We fought so much for that portrait that the artist was there and he said, I'm going to paint more for all of you. You can pay the money and I will paint more for, for each and every one of you. Stop fighting. We were willing to go up until two, three million rent. That is the power of sport. That is the power of sport that these boys are willing to fight for charity. So to all of you, don't take this thing, seri this thing serious of, oh no, uh, don't take it serious when people tell you not all dreams do come through. Not all dreams doesn't come through. All dreams do come through. Take that serious. Don't take negative people serious. Don't take people serious that you tell you that you can't be that. Let me tell you why. Because you, it is other people's job to underestimate you. Never forget that. That it is the job of other people to underestimate you. But you must never underestimate yourself. You can be anything that you want to be in life. My teacher that told me I will never be anything. God blessed me the other day when I was in Bloomfield. I went to go draw mommy. When I looked around, I saw him behind me. I said, Mutimu Holo. God is great. Thank you, I just drew my money and I left my slip there. So he can deal with whatever he's going to deal with. I don't know what. But there's no man that finds a slip and they don't look. I know he's very depressed where he is. And normally I don't leave those things, but that one I had to leave. In conclusion, I want to say to everybody, particularly the education department, you know, uh, managing, people say, ah, there has been MOU signed. You are not the first one to sign. You can sign a million MOU, MOUs, that means nothing. It is the action that means anything. Now, I, I'm an action man. I'm an action man. 
and I found in the education minister and deputy minister action woman. So sport is not coming back. It is already back. We are just fixing one or two things. There's no one better than the other one. People from my department, because we are sport, we should not think this thing belongs to us. 50-50 makes 100%. There's 50% from education, 50% from us. There's no boss in this matter. We have got very good news, which I can't tell you now in two weeks. There's going to be a press conference. A press conference. So to all the parents, your prayers has been answered. Our children are going to be involved in sport, arts and culture in the schools. My job as the minister is to make sure that the schools like this ones also get hockey sticks, also get pool vaulting equipment. You can't expect people to go to the Olympics on stuff that they've never seen or they can't afford. In South Africa, sports are for the privileged and for the ones that the privileged feel sorry for by means of scholarship. That is over. It's coming to an end. I'm soon going to launch together with the MECs Project 300. I'm going to launch Project 300. That's my baby. When I'm eight years old, I'm going to look back at everything I did. I'm going to remember Project 300. Project 300 is going to give every school, every community, equipment that's very expensive. And we are going to look for the fastest people to take with us to the Olympics. There's many new sports. Leap break dance, break dance, how is that? I came to the Olympics. They said there's a new sport. Now you get very good dancers like the ones we saw here today. Bavaya. You get very good. And they doesn't have a choice. If you've gone to so many nightclubs and you own so many nightclubs, you have to be good. Then you have average. Then you have below average. Now I'm there by below average. So I was in Paris. When I got there, they said there's a new sport. When the curtains opened there, I saw them break dancing. I said, ah, Tate Phillips. I said, ay, 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 ay. What is this thing? <laughs> hey, these people, Baba Pala, these are jokes, Mosman. I come from the year of prophet of the city. I nearly took off my jacket and brought the first bronze medal home. <laughs> <laughs> I was very tempted, Minister. <laughs> the deputy Minister, I was very tempted to bring the first. <laughs> I nearly jumped on that stage. Oh, we are going to make sure that we take 300 athletes, yeah. Mr. Lottery. We are going to make sure we are going to do this in conjunction with you, Ms. Anita. We are going to work together. We are going to bring everybody together. And we are going to work. We are going to make sure that sport takes its rightful place. Because sport has the potential to change lives. Don't underestimate that. And to NetBank, you know what is the worst thing about when you visit people with nice food? You, if you give people the best treatment, best food, they always come back for more. Now I've seen what you're doing here. We've got other schools there in Tladi, there in the rural areas. I shall come knocking at NetBank. I think the man knew I was going to ask, Mr. Muthepe is not here. Oh, it's here. Oh, Mr. Muthepe, I'm coming to knock. Don't blue tick us. Uh, don't blue tick us. Because some of us, we bang by you. Uh, our, in our businesses. So, we need all the schools to have what we're going to open here today. I want to thank the Sports Trust, NetBank, PSL, Pirates of London Pirates, and this very good department, Sports Arts and Culture, <laughs> and the Education Department, and to leave everybody with one thing today. Scam Mamela Baloi. Scam Mamela Baloi. GNU is going to last. The GNU is going to be with us for five years. My only problem I have with this GNU is only one. This GNU, I'm just scared of one thing. That you guys are going to love this GNU so much that you give us another GNU after 2020. 20, 20, 
Yesterday, I was on the stage there with the people of the DA. We were together taking pictures, laughing, Mutimo Palabal Baloi. Look at where I am today. I'm with the DA embracing them. Can I just give you better last? And I'm gonna make sure that Jim you last with our best years. Many buys at me. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Uh, Mr. Minister, I'm going to sing any department that I'm